All right, let's try this video again for the fifth time. This is a 5,500-watt portal cable uh, brushless generator with a 9-horsepower Vanguard Briggs & Stratton. Um, the first video I did failed, so we dug into this carburetor. Got it running, but it only runs with choke. It won't won't run with it it, it quit um, I put a new fill filter on it I stole the one off the um, the um, John Deere um, so that video failed so I did a video the video putting it on it failed. Then, um, I did a video on and checking the, uh, generator. It failed. So in this video, we're just, um, we're, and I just, I started this just now. It failed because I hit a button on the phone. At first, I wasn't going to do videos on this, well, but you know what? This was a bad idea. There's this guy, James, on YouTube. He, he specializes in generators, and I watch him a lot. And that's kind of, his videos are kind of helping me here. So tomorrow, I'll dig into the carburetor. I'm just getting it off to save me some time. Um, I think we're going to have to get a new one, a new fuel switch. This is more like a lose a bolt how-to video. And it's leaking fuel. From the float bowl. So my main concern is to getting it running without the choke. This here is a throttle, but it doesn't move because you don't you don't throttle up a generator, especially this one. Like I said, and I and like I said in the last video I tried doing, I think the reason why it won't power up is I think. The generator has got a bad capacitor. I've checked all the, you know, troubled areas. And nothing's coming up. Everything's testing out good. Thanks to James from uh, YouTube. Thank you, James, on that if you watch my videos. I know he did, he did a video on one of these. But it... That that generator didn't have the problem this one has. It was I think it was the same exact generator. I think it was. I think it had it was a no start video I think. But he did uh, videos on capacitors before. Stick that there. See. We gotta pull this. You know what? I'm gonna try to do it without pulling this forward. Plastic piece forward. This time. Or. Yeah, I gotta pull this forward. Taking things off, I don't think I have to have to, but. We're just losing daylight actually rather quick. I should have gone with my gut feeling and started this like an hour ago. Leaves are starting to turn in color.
And we pull this forward a little bit because there's one back here. It's very hard to get to. I should be using a, a ratcheting a, a ratcheting wrench. My oh, that won't work. I think what I'm doing is I'm hitting the volume button on the phone when I put it down, and I think that's what. And I think that's why it quit recording. But you'll probably end up seeing this again in a future video. Is once I get it running, we're gonna put it in store. We're gonna probably drain the gas out of it, and I'm gonna. Oh, so I know sometime next week. Well, next time it rains, it's gonna have to get put somewhere. Where did this screw go? I guess this screw probably went here. This screw goes here. And we move this to the side. And when I first cleaned the carburetor the first time, I had issues getting it started. So I had to put it off to the side for right now until... <coughs> earlier in the week, Monday actually. Monday I just, I hooked up this fuel line here. Which I still need to, I need to take it apart and reroute it. Because there's, might not do that. Yeah, because this is the governor. This is the governor up here. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is part of the governor. The only thing that's probably going to end this video right now would be dark. But we're getting there slowly. Oh, I should have brought. I should have brought some heat on those tires. I gotta get Huh. It came off without question. I still got we still gotta hibern hibernate. We still gotta get the Honda ready for winter. We got a chainsaw behind me. We gotta put somewhere I don't remember where this one screw went to, so I'm going to just stick it here. I mean, the carburetor cleaned up, and the inside, did, the outside didn't really clean up. And we gotta get this throttle rod in, out, and then the spring. The spring is kind of weird. Down and around. Whoa, I just sprayed gas all over my leg. And I don't have a rag out here. So for right now, we're going to put this. What do is probably just flip it upside down. That, that's kind of cold. And then I'll put this on.
What I'll probably do is just put this like this. This going like this. But within the next day or two, I'm planning on putting this back together. I got it on the no I got it a little bit on the grass too I mean either way it's got to come back off because it doesn't run right anyway how so I don't lose them there's the filter it's well oh We're renewing the filter right now. Yeah, there we go. It's brand new. Oh, I see what. It's the the other filter. Yeah, it's the other filter that's bad. Once it once we get it running real good and making and producing power real good. That everything, you know, working like it should. Maybe we'll go ahead and we got to change the oil on it anyhow. Um, we'll order that. The plug is good. It just needs clean real well. We'll stick that up there. Well, there you got it. We got removal of the carburetor off this Vanguard. Stay tuned. There, I'm gonna. I gotta drain the gas out of it once I get it running, real good. Um, stay tuned. There'll be other videos on it. I would imagine so. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you have a comment, please leave one. Thanks for watching. Hope it's helped somebody.